Hello everyone, we're back again with our part 2 video of GridBots. I'm Edward with Crypto University and we're going to jump right into it. So if you've looked at some of our last videos, you'll know that you can go to your DCA bot deals to manage your active deals. Now you actually don't have sub tabs for GridBot. So you just go ahead and click on GridBot to access your GridBot active deals and you'll see here you have the option to create a new GridBot. Simply scroll down past the order book, past your balances, and you will see the grid bots that you have running. So if it is running or active, you will see here it says stop. And if it is inactive, you will see here it says start. So right here, this is where you have your options to manage an active deal. So let me explain how you can read this here. The current price is displayed right here by current. And you have your weight, which is your base price or the median line from where you would start to reverse from buy to sell. So as price swings between these targets, it'll buy if it gets here and buy if it gets here, and then sell if it gets here and gets here. So it pings pong back and forth to kind of scalp this pair that you have selected. This one is USDC, USDT. And if you observe it on the weekly, you'll see this is the baseline for your buy and sell. So pretty much if it dips under here, you'll buy. If it pops above here, you'll sell. And that might look a little bizarre on the weekly, but if you zoom out to the monthly, you'll see we're right along the median. Uh, in my opinion, which is why I have it set up there. So if price starts to fall below here in the future, we will buy coins. And then if it reverses and comes back up above like it did here, we'll sell coins. And that's basically how a grid bot works. It's not exactly as passive as you would set up some of the other bots, as you can see here on this Bitcoin bot. You couldn't really make a grid bot out of something in such a bull run like Bitcoin. It just wouldn't make any sense. Once you get over a certain point, you would have to readjust your target settings like we had discussed in the previous video. So in order to find a truly passive grid bot, you have to kind of consider stable currency pairs. That way you can set something up and have it running ultimately forever in the background. As opposed to something like in a Bitcoin pair, you in a Bitcoin USDT pair, where the price is always going to be very volatile and it's hard to find sideways price action. So grid bots are good for sideways price action, not so much for rallies or trending coins. Whereas DCA bots will take care of almost any market condition by the use of the DCA method. So you have over here to the option to refresh your deal to see it will change where the current moves to, which hasn't moved much as we're on a stable coin. You have the option to share via link. You have the option to delete this grid bot. You have the option to edit its settings, which will then pull you back up to this where we just were in video one in the prior video. So I'm just going to go ahead and back out of that to not alter my settings. And then you have the option to stop it. If your bot is running, this will say stop. And if your bot is inactive, it will say enable. So that's the basic maintenance of a grid bot. And if you have a lot of these running, it could be a little bit confusing because the grid bots don't actually account for how much is necessary to run. So as you can see here, the quantity per grid here is $33. So you have to make sure that you have tokens in both USDT and USDC because whenever price comes below here, if you don't have any coins to buy, then your bot's going to malfunction. And likewise, if you don't have any to sell, then your bot's going to malfunction. If you're using grid bots, it's a lot more complicated. Well, not a lot more complicated, but you have to manually calculate some of these things, which can be a little bit tedious if you don't know what you're doing. So simple DCA bots and composite DCA bots are a way to make passive income very easily. If you missed those videos, go check them out. Uh, the grid bot is definitely another way to make money. However, it takes a little bit more understanding and able to manipulate this and keep up with trends. I hope this video was helpful. Get ready for the next one because we're going to be talking about the options bot.